Is it over for Chipotle? This is a former high flyer and one of my favorite restaurants, I will confess, but the stock is down more than 60% since the peak in 2015. Sarah has a story. Chipotle reported its third quarter results on Tuesday after the closing bell, and they missed on the top and bottom line. They also lowered expectations for same-store sales and for the number of restaurants they expect to open. The stock dropped after hours and opened about 13% down the next morning. The stock is down over 20% year-to-date. But the real story everyone was looking at was this introduction of queso that Chipotle brought out. I think they introduced it September 12th. And things started to turn even before they reported earnings because consumers didn't seem super excited about the queso. RBC put out a note on Friday before the earnings entitled Worst Queso Scenario, where the analyst dropped his price target from $400 to $330. They, he has since lowered it even further to $320. But what he did was he analyzed the social media response to queso over the period and basically the response to Chipotle, the negative tweets for Chipotle far like started to peak and the positive tweets started to drop and the response to queso on Twitter was all negative, um, very few positive tweets. So some people thought this queso marketing blitz could save Chipotle. Nobody thinks that anymore. Is it the final nail in the coffin? UBS says it, it, this is the new normal for Chipotle, that there, there's no bounce back. So another thing that I saw this week was, I believe, at Bank of America coming out and saying, look, we're downgrading Chipotle because they pay their employees too much. And I just want to say, from an economic perspective and the United States, it is great if that's true, if Chipotle is paying its employees a lot. That is wonderful. That's what all of our companies need to do. And I have to say, it's been a high flyer stock. So what if the stock goes down, if that's what's going on? And defending Chipotle, it is still great. I eat there all the time, and I have to say, I am glad that there is less of a line. It's great. I don't want queso anyway. I don't care. So I, I am fine with where Chipotle is. I think that they probably liked the lines. I think that helped. I think that and they do pay the, the, their employees more than that's wonderful, and they have great employees. I like the service at Chipotle a lot. They never let the sour cream or the guacamole touch my burrito, which is very important to me. Um, but have you tried the queso? I have not. Okay. I don't care. Yeah, me but either. This gets to the point, again, this stock ran up to a, a sky high level on this momentum of their opening new stores, the story around the world, everything else. I don't think it's necessarily over. Again, it's a high quality restaurant. They had a couple of unforced errors. They had the disease outbreaks and other things. So these are, these are bad situations, but there's no reason they can't actually continue to improve and grow from there. But will the stock ever trade at the multiple that it did before? Who knows, but if not, they're just going through exactly the same change of phase that so many companies have gone through, which is their momentum story, all the Mo guys pile in, stock goes to the moon, then the Mo story breaks, then you go through several years of consolidation, and then eventually it just becomes a good company with a much more reasonably priced stock. And hopefully that's where we are.